Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and it's gas time today and it was going to be gas time yesterday. I had a big problem. Um, I chose to click for the update in OBS, which took a while. And then when it had updated, it wouldn't let me continue without updating my video card. Now, to some of you tech people, that will sound, well, just do it. It's a very simple thing to do. To me, that was monstrous. I could neither uninstall the new version of OBS nor um, track down the necessary video card driver update. And it took hours and hours. And I had to put up the video I had saved up for tomorrow or the next day, and uh, that's what you got yesterday. But today we are back on the gas because I have got the new video driver. I don't know, I doubt that you'll notice any change in quality. So I say Yabu sucks to OBS for putting in an update without actually warning me that it would mess up the whole system. So anyway, there we go. I mean, I suppose I did click on it. It's my fault. It's not, it's not theirs in a way, but they didn't give me any warning. And it irritated me. Now, it is gas. This is genuinely approachable Sudoku. We are going to be looking at some puzzles that have been posted on the Discord server in the daily Sudoku channel. Um, I think, especially looking at this first one, they're now by a trio of Bill Murphy, Clover and Philip Newman. And these guys are all great at this. So uh, I'm really looking forward to it. What we'll do is go through the rules of each puzzle and then take on the puzzles one at a time. I'll time myself talking my way through them though, just to sort of see how quick we can do them. Try and earn the time that gets two party hats. Uh, there's also one party hat for a slower solve and a dinosaur if you get through it in the end in neither of the times. Now we have ported that lore or mythology over to our new gas app which you can get if you go to the if you like these puzzles go to the ctc app download the gas app there's already 30 more puzzles there'll be 10 more each month until we've got to 60 and those puzzles will showcase a lot of the variant types that we do on the channel in a genuinely approachable way so well worth giving a go there is also an update to the domino sudoku app that came out a week or so ago we've still got a week and a bit that's all left on our kickstarter so do consider pledging for the book it'll be better the more people pledge for it because of the stretch goals we've got patreon where the labors of hercules is well underway uh, about, well, 12 and a bit more days left to enter the 12 Labours of Hercules. Brilliant hunt by Aspartagus Panthera and Piotr V. Um, I mean, tons going on all the time on the channel, so do check it all out. And, oh yeah, also, the creating a cryptic crossword with a celebrity is in tomorrow week. That'll be a live stream and uh, if you go to John Halpin's channel which is linked under the video you can subscribe to him and uh, get on that live stream and we'll see how Jack Fox does with um, creating a cryptic crossword and how John Halpin goes about it which will be brilliant. So what are the rules of these five puzzles? Well first of all we see oh no, yes no I'm going to read the discord server aren't I and see what the guys have said about them. So uh, the first one is from October the 5th, and Bill Murphy says, G'day, question fans. Why is it called a lunch box if I can't eat it? Why is it a cardboard box if I can put other things in it? That's quite a nice juxtaposition there. You eat the lunch out of the lunch box, you don't eat the box. But the cardboard box, you put other things in, it's made out of the cardboard. And those are both examples, I believe, of synecdoche. Uh, why don't they let a shrimp fry that rice? Is that to do with shrimp fried rice? That might be more of a thing in Australia. I'm not sure. Oh, you want a Sudoku? Well, riddle me this. Why is it called quadruple Sudoku if I don't have to put four digits in those circles? Good point. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits in a white circle must appear somewhere in the four cells immediately surrounding that circle. So one one would mean there must be two ones in the surrounding four cells. And if you don't make the two hat times or the one hat times, which will be shown in the description field under the video, where you can find the links to all the puzzles, the dinosaur you will earn when you finish is a thoughtful sargan. 
So that is what's going on from October the 5th. Now, Go Moku by Philip Newman. All good things must come to an end, says Philip. All mediocre things must come to an end as well. That's right. It's the ninth and final list of nine things, courtesy of Voice Chat 1, mostly. And then these nine, the nine list things is spoiler, but they are, I'm going to do them. I'm a month late. They are one, a hat. Two, a phone a friend for shy. Three, a bee queen. Four, Pythagoras. Five, major look. Six, someone's run out of sugar. Seven, leaf mustard. Eight, how many are left? And nine, my mind is funny. Will Mark read these spoilers? Find out in a month. Well, I have read the spoilers. I have literally no idea what's going on. So feel free to explain if ex explanation is possible in the comments, Philip. I don't know what that was about. Today's gas is a Renban Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits along purple Renban lines must form a non-repeating consecutive set in any order. For example, a four-cell Renban line could be 4352, because that's a set of consecutive digits, but not 5679 or 2312. Um, oh, there is a hint that's spoiled. I'm not going to do that because... I don't want to be given the hints. Uh, you could look on the Discord channel if you want to see what it was. The dinosaur is a hatless Heistosaurus. Now, um, they are purple Renban lines, but they are barely visible in this form. What I am going to do, I might solve it in this, but I'll give you a slightly more purpled version to solve it on. No, if I'm going to create a more purple version to solve it on. I may as well solve it in that form myself. Okay, when I get to this puzzle, you will see that by some magic, it will be more purple. Yeah, so that's what will happen. Um, now, October 7th, Clover. In today's sum or greater Sudoku, some of the cells are some S U M of the cells are great, and something that's really great is that some other cells are even greater. And if you're curious about why the word great has suddenly lost all meaning after reading that sentence, check out this article. Um, and there's an article on semantic satiation from Wikipedia. Now, normal Sudoku rules apply. Also, some pairs of cells are separated by a white circle. The value, of the, the value in the circle tells you either the sum of the digits in the two cells or the greater of the two values in those cells. For instance, if a 5 appears between two cells, those two cells might be 3 and 2 or 5 and 3. It's up to you to figure out which circles are which. Interesting. So then there's the party hat times and the dinosaur is a great Gorgosaurus. Now, I think I have done once a puzzle of that sort before, but... Well, maybe it was a gas, maybe it wasn't. I honestly don't know. Next, we have .com Sudoku, and Bill says, Good day, math fans. Well, you all really took me to the cleaners with the hats last time. Nothing personal. I love this for you. I've still got plenty of hats for everyone today. My parents invested in the .com boom in the late 90s, so they set me up with a hat fund. For all of you youngsters on this, doc on this Discord, the dot-com boom is like cryptocurrency of the late 90s, but instead of buying the rights to claim that you own a thing that doesn't exist, people just bought digital hats. Interestingly, this would precede Team Fortress 2 by nearly a decade. Yeah, I get that. That's quite funny. Today's gas is a dot-com Sudoku, a funky little Mathrax variant similar to a gas from June, but Prime Weasel gave it this name last year, and I like it, so I'm going to keep it. So, hey... Let's get right to it. Normal Stoker rules apply. A plus sign on the intersection of four cells indicates that both pairs of diagonally opposite pairs of digits have the same sum. A minus sign indicates that both pairs have the same difference. Not all pluses or minuses are given, and it's a calculating caudipteryx uh, for the dinosaur. Now, that means that the difference here between those diagonally opposite numbers is four. And the minus sign means that the difference between those two numbers on the other diagonal is also, therefore, 4. That's how this works. And with the plus, it's an addition. That's intriguing. I like that. Um, and I fancy my chances at it. There, I said it. Now, then we will move on to day 5 from the 10th of September called Serial Convention by Philip Newman, who says, My daughter Zoe turned 4 this weekend. Happy birthday, Zoe brilliant. She had a great day yesterday, but I can hear her crying downstairs as I write this. 
Brooklyn Sea, Philip. Such is the life of a four-year-old. Today's guest combines two of Zoe's favourite constraints. I mean, they could be? That's right, it's a killer between lines, Sudoku. This one's a bit on the trickier side. Ooh, don't blame Zoe, that's all me. Um, now, normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits in cages cannot repeat and must sum to the total given. Digits along a line must have values strictly between the values in the circles on the ends of that line. So, if you had a 7 here and a 1 here, these two digits would have to be between 1 and 7. Those are the rules. The dinosaur, final dinosaur, is a Zoe-approved Zygongosaurus. And we shall go back to the start and try and remember to reset the clock every time I start a new puzzle so I know my time. There will also be a timer running on the screen that I've put on afterwards in the edit. And I am going to start now. So let's get cracking. Um, okay, so the twos around that are there, the threes are there, the fours are there, the fives are there. Can we do the same the other side? Yes, working up, sixes, sevens. This is the only way to put two of these numbers on the circles as necessary. So that's quite a good start. Ah, we've got a three, six, nine, triple, a two, five, eight, triple. In fact, we know where the three goes, thanks to the given three in the grid. Two, five, eight here. Oh, look, we know. Ah, because of what I've done already, I can do all of those. Eight, two, five. I can't do the three, six, nine, triple, but I can do seven and four in the corners. What were the corners down here? One and seven there, straightforward. Ah, the six has told me what to do there. Right, so that's that's the start we get. Let's see how this continues to go after that. Uh, that's a five, six pair. I can do them. Two, nine pair opposite is exactly symmetrical in form. That's a four, five pair. We can do one and three. Over this side, we've got an eight, nine pair. And I can do seven and one. The symmetry is staggering as so often in these puzzles. Six, one, two, there. Now, slow down. Oh no, yes. Three, three is done up at the top. Um, four, five, one, nine, two. That is a naked three. It sees every other digit from where it is in the grid. The six in the row must be there. That's a hidden single instead of a naked one. Seven and eight, that can't be two. I've got a two, five pair up here. I can do them. Two, five, nine, three, six. So, um, okay, don't know quite what to do next. Oh, yes, yeah, six is looking up at those. So, all of these columns will fall now. Three and four there. One, two, eight to put in on the left. That's a naked eight. That's a one. Two, one, eight are done. That does the eight over this side. I can do five and two, thanks to my earlier pencil marking. Two, seven, five. I can do everything down at the bottom. This has become a seven, and that's an eight. I can even do the four, five. So I've just got two rows left in double quick time. So this is, I think, why Bill was saying that people had uh, destroyed the hat times. I think this was a very approachable puzzle, to be honest. That's very kind of him to provide it, give us a bit of a confidence boost at the start. Two minutes 45 for me. So well done if you beat that time, but well done if you got within the two hat time anyway, or indeed the one hat time, or indeed if you finished it. I mean, that's the sort of puzzle where if you've kind of seen the necessary deductions earlier, or the necessary... Sorry, if you've seen the necessary deductions in some form in a previous puzzle, is what I'm trying to say, they come very quickly. If you haven't, it could take longer to find them. So we will now go, as if by magic, to a purple version of this puzzle. Um, the Gomoku by Philip Newman. I, Gomoku. Isn't, that's either the name of a pencil puzzle or it's something to do with the game of Go in Japanese. Probably it is the latter. I don't know how that applies to this grid, um, because 
Although I did once learn the rules of the game of Go, I've forgotten them. So anyway, I I could be off beam. I don't quite know what Gomoku means, but uh, anyway, this is a Renban Sudoku. That's what I know. I'm going to restart so I know my time at the end. Let's get cracking. Oh, we've got ones on oh on this Renban as well. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and this has got a nine on. Oh well, these are a seven, six pair. So on the ends of that must be a 5 and an 8 to make a sequence. Um, but this works slightly differently. I'm wondering where 9 can go in the box, and it has to be on the 8 Renban. So that's a 3-4 pair. So 2 and 5 on the ends of that. Yeah, again, where can 1 go in this box? Must be on that Renban. That gets a 6 and 7 there. Ah, we can put in the 7 and 8 on that 9. That fixes the 6 and 7. Just having a quick look up the grid to see if that gives anything away. Can't see it. 8 on one of those. 7 on one of those. 6 and 5 in the other cells. That can't be 6. That can't be 8. Then these are a 3-4 pair, but we don't know that it's 1-5 on these cells. It could be 5-6. Oh, the 1 definitely needs a 2 and a 3. Ah, and the 2 is there because of the given 3 in the grid. <sighs> to pause for breath and to finally think a little bit. Um, the 8 in this row must be there, interestingly. In fact, that must also be where the 8 on the line is. Um, those can't be a four. As usual with Philip, it's not quite as straightforward as, as it was with the other puzzle. Um, eight here must be a seven on one of its ends. So that's there. This is six or nine. This two must have a three on one end. Yeah, that's interesting. So the three goes there with a 1 or a 4 on the inside. Now, that 3 sees that 4. 4, 2, 3. I'm looking down this column now. 1, 5, and 6 still to place. That can't be 1 or 3. 3, 6, 8. The 4 in the column, ah, has to be here at the bottom. Also, I hadn't noticed, and that's where the 4 had to be on the Renban at the bottom. Um, yeah, I'm not doing very well at this. The seven in this row I can place. Seven, eight, nine, one. We can't have a three there. So one of those is a three, which I could have known from the fact that there can't be a three at the top. That's also not a four. Ooh, I'm scratching around here, not really getting what's going on. One of those is a seven. Not interesting. One of these is a seven. Not interesting either, I suspect. Four, four, four. Maybe it would have helped to keep the lighter lines, but they just didn't look so renbanny to me. And sometimes people have complained they can't see very light lines on grids. So I don't know. Maybe I was wrong to uh, change the link. Six, seven. Ah, that's where seven goes down here. I thought I was looking at sevens down here. I must have been looking at the wrong aspect of sevens. Two, three, four. This could still be a six. That's really irritating. And those are a definite five, eight pair. They're both looking at that cell, which therefore can't be five or eight. Oh, I'm really missing something that's going on here. Can't be much to do with the with the Ren bands, because apart from this one, I know what the constituents are everywhere. And I've fully marked them up. Oh, three in the bottom rows there. One, five, or six there. That three, yeah, gets us the three in the middle. Which doesn't do anything else, of course. Threes, oh yes, I do know where three is there. Two also on that line. Oh, so it's just eliminations. Maybe along lines and so on. 
two in this box is in one of those two. Two, seven, eight, three, one, nine is in one of those. Oh, this isn't coming to me. Six, eight, seven, two, three. I mean, again, it is gas because there's nothing inherently very difficult. It's just seeing your way through it. And unlike Bill's puzzle, this doesn't really, well, the way I'm doing it, it doesn't have a really quick way through. Six, eight, four, three, one, two in one of those places. Eight. Eight definitely in one of those two. No, come on, find the number that's going to unlock all of this. Three in this column. I've done it. Oh, I've done three, so I can do that four, three pair. And that's huge. How have I not spotted that after all this time? I mean, I've been looking right at the right thing and not getting it. That really was a bit feeble. But we're on the way now. Now, can we do this? That can't be a six, so this is definitely a one five pair. In fact, that's a one five eight triple. This is a two four pair that can be written in. This must be a six nine pair that can't be. That's another six nine pair. That's two five or eight. This is one, that's four. Um, what have we got down here? One five nine as a triple, and on the right, one seven pair here that can go in. Seven one three six eight four two five and nine in these cells. So still still not done by any manner of means. Um, that's become a five, right? So that's a one. That isn't. The five sees that cell only. Oh, the two is looking across at that. Wow. So then we can use the Renban line. Then we've got that triple done at the top. Haven't got the triple done at the bottom, but this is now a 489 triple which can go in. That sorts out six and nine. This is the last cell in its box. That's the last one in its column. We can put the nine in and do two. Five in the middle. One there, what's this, six and two, nine and five, nine and six. Wow, that took longer. Might have missed the two hat time there. Interesting. Good puzzle, Philip, well done. But irritating that I couldn't see a very, it was that three operating on that three, four pair. Just never spotted it. Ugh don't like myself. Right, let's try this next one with a restart and see how we go. Oh, this is sum or greater. Uh, I'll start in the top left. Right, it can't be... Okay, two has to be a one-two pair. Three then, can't be a one-two pair, so needs a three on it. Wow. Four needs a four on it. I'm sure we're going to work the same all the way along. Yes. Okay, so nine in that column. That means all of these nines must be sums, not graters. Now, that can't be a greater, so it's a sum. This can't be a sum, so it's a greater. Uh, and that leaves... That leaves me not knowing... Oh, three... Three, sorry, three down here can't be a sum because of the one. So it's a greater, which is a three there with a two there. Then I've got four, six, and eight to place here. Um, I should probably be able to do these. Nine is the greater. One of these must be a sum because it can't have an eight in. And that's got to be a two, six sum. Good Lord. I don't think I get to do the other two. I don't think so. Oh, so that. Yes, that needs an eight. Yeah, okay. There we go. Now, up here, we still have a nine to place. And it's either there or there. Because it's either the one or two that we can't use on the sum nines. 
Oh, it's there because there's a one-two pair now in the box. Oh, that's clever. So that's a two. And now we've got the whole perimeter done with all its clues. I hope I haven't made a mistake. Don't think I have, but you just never know because this logic is not natural to me. Now, the two, that was really useful. Yes, two is the higher digit of two and one. So next, with a three next to it, that's a three. Now I don't know which that one is. So the two here again, a two and a one pair. The four next to it can't be a sum, so that is an actual four. Three pair here, which can't be two, one, means three is the higher digit of three and one. That can't be a sum, so that's a four. This six can't be a sum because four, one, and two have been used up, so there's a six and a five in those cells. Five, I would think, is the higher digit there, so that's a four. Now, what about this four? It can't have a four on it, so it is a sum of one and three, and this is either a two, which it can't be, or a five. So I think that is going to have done all the clued cells. The rest is classic Sudoku now. Let's see how we do with that. Um, seven, eight, nine in those. In fact, high digits, we haven't really put in a lot of them. 8, 3, 2, 1, 4, that's a naked 6. So that's a 5, 7 pair, that's a 9. No 7 there. This is a 1, 7, 8 triple, I can do all of those. This is a 2, 3 pair, which I can't do yet. That's a 9 to complete the column. Uh, that's a naked 9 in column 6, and that's 7, that's 5. This must be done, that's 8. That's seven, that's two. No sevens in those cells, one and seven in those. Six and three are done down here. Let's look at the middle row. Uh, not a good place to look. Let's look at the row below it. That's a naked eight. Two and one, two and three. This is done, that's an eight. Five and nine, still to go in both row four and column eight. Six. Oh, look, that 9-8 pair has been done. The 9 sorts everything out. And we've just got basically one row to finish off now. There we go. 4 minutes 16. Felt quicker, weirdly, but I took a little bit of time at the start working out how to begin. Studying these 9 columns, which weren't that useful, and then working out. Of course, as so often with Clover, the top left is a great place to start. Right, BillMurphy's.com Sudoku, and uh, this is where the, the sums or differences of the two digits are the same along both diagonals. So let's restart this one. One and four there, I think it, no, I was going to say it must be two and five there, that's nonsense. This must be six and nine. It's absolutely not two and five in the other one. Let's try down here. 6 and 8 is 14. That requires 5 and 9 in the other cells. The difference is 4. That's a 1 because it can't be 9. 2, 4 pair left. Let's do this middle box where we get, yes, lots of information from the plus. That's a 1, 4 pair. Difference of 3. So that can't be 1 anymore, which is very neat. That's a 7. We've got 5 and 8. In fact, I can place them this time. 8 and 5. Now here, 15 one way, so we need 15 the other. Now 1 is the difference. One, I'm just doing the Sudoku possibilities. Uh, can't really finish that off, but that's not a 7 now. And that's not a 5 or a 4 with that difference of 1. Right, I haven't done this digit. Um, that is a naked 7 sees everything else in its row, column, or box. One or three there, three or six here, one, three or six there. Um, seven. Can that be a seven? I suppose it could be. Oh no, we've got this difference. Ah, oh, I didn't, didn't spot it. That's sorting out all the corner pairs as well. Now, those add up to five, so those must do two. Right, that's very straightforward. Now, again, not very quick on the uptake. That's a naked two. And there's eight and nine to go in. Um, difference here is one. They haven't been resolved yet. 
that's a naked two as well, which does all the resolving we needed. As long as my pencil marking was right in box seven, I think I am going along very nicely now. So seven there and a one four pair. Um, this might be naked, it is, that's a four, eight, nine pair at the top, one, four, three to place, that's a four, that's one or three, this becomes a seven. Uh, we can chase sevens around the grid perhaps, not quite. Five, seven, six, nine, ooh. Six, two, eight, nine. There's a nine in one of those cells. That's not not being very clever here. There's a six in one of those. Just pencil marking some Sudoku numbers. Ah, oh, I can place five in that box, weirdly. And that does help. Then I can do the rest of the column. That sorts out these pencil marked sevens and nines. That's actually very helpful. Three, one, eight. We can do four there. At the bottom it must be six. One there, that's a three, that's a one, this is a five, three and one at the top. Now that's three, that's eight, which is going to sort out all the eight, nine pairs. Six and five there, let's come down the final column. Six, eight, four, one, two, nine to go here, like that. And we can finish off with a one and an eight. Three minutes, 32. So thank you, Bill. Still not too hard, very kind of you confidence boosting all the way good fun though and very neat juxtaposition of the opening givens i think ah now philip has warned us this one's going to be hard between lines and killer so let's get cracking okay i'm going to use the secret for the center 15 27 36 that's a nine i thought it was going to be the low digit don't know why um now those can't have a one on the line, so that's a two, four. One goes in there, eight there. These must be a five, seven pair. That must be three to stay below them both. Much harder numbers in the central areas. So let's leave them alone. Now here there must be a one in one of the circles. Oh, that's a nine, eight, seven box. So seven, nine on the outside, eight there. This is a one, two, three box. And that leaves four, five, six across the middle. This is six, eight, nine. Oh, that's very helpful. Um, this could, it's got a three on it. It's either one, three, five, or two, three, four. And three is always in the middle. That one must be four or five. That must be one or two. 20, oh, six down the bottom. So we can do one, two, three. 21 here, doesn't have to have a nine, so that is nine or eight. It must have either a nine or an eight as the high digit. Don't know about the low one. So that one has sorted out the nine cage two three four. This is a one five seven triple. I'm gonna pencil mark that and take out the impossibilities. Two six one. Ooh, don't know what to do now. This could be 875 if it didn't have a 9 in. So again, the high digit is 9 or 8. Oh, hang on, let's do this first. We know where the 1 goes. Then there's either a 2 or a 3 in the middle and a 4 or a 5 in the next cell. The 1, though, has made that a 3, and that makes this a 2, and that puts a 5 there. This can't be 5. 1, 2, 5, 8, 3... Now that five means this isn't eight seven five, so there is a nine in it. Could be nine eight three or nine. Yeah, it can't be nine seven five, so it has to be nine eight three. Yes, it does. So the nine is there. Nine eight three like that. That fixes the seven nine pair at the top. This is four six seven, so that's a five, and that isn't. That's a three nine pair. Now, that was never gonna have a three on it, so we're not resolved here. Could go eight, seven, six. Ah, it can't because there's a seven looking down there, so it must have a nine in. And if this can't be a seven, nine, six is not enough, so it's nine, eight, four, must be. 
517382, that's a naked 6. We get a 4, 9 pair in this central box. 5, 8, and 7 in these, which is quite interesting because it gives 5, 8, 7 triple there, which makes this a 1, 2 pair. That's 5 or 7. This can't be 7, that can't be 4. Oh, this also can't be 6. 2, 4, 8, 5, 6, 7. So, now maybe we can approach the central column. 1, 3, or 9. This can't be 9. Now, if it was a 3, that's a 6, 4 pair. That's a 1, 7 pair, but you can't put 1 on the line, so that's not a 3. Now, this is either 2, 6, or 3, 5. It can't be 2, 6, because we've got a 2, 6 looking at that cell. So it's 3, 5... This is 2, that's a 7. 6 and 4 do go in that box, and we might be able to actually finish now. Um, yes, we've done this triple. What have we got along here? 3, 4, 5 is a triple, 7, 2, that's a 1, 9 pair. Something is going to... Oh, look, I've got these diagonal lines. Oh, I didn't see them. 8... 7, and this one, well, since that becomes a 5, this one must be a 6. That's become a 2. That's become a 3. This is a 1. The central box is key here. 4 and 9. What have we got? 8 and 5 there. That's a 9. That's a 3. 5 and 7. 2 and 6. That does 6 and 4. 1 and 9 is done, 6 and 8 is done, this is 3 and 4, which is not done, so let's go to the bottom and do 5 and 2, 9 and 3, yes, 4 and 7, nip over and do the 5 and 7 before returning to do 3 and 4, and there we go, that's quite quick, 5 minutes 18, so not too bad. Very much helps to know the rule that you can't put a 1 or a 9 on a line. Um, that helped there, for instance. And that's great. That is five gas puzzles. And uh, an absolute pleasure, as always, to do them. Very much welcome to Bill getting established as the new constructor here. And uh, thank you so much, as always, to Philip, Clover and Bill, to you guys for watching and to everybody who supports the Discord channel or Patreon. There's also... Um, Clover's Patreon that you can support as well. She produces a pack of puzzles every month for her supporters. Um, and I hope to see you again soon on the channel. Thank you for watching and bye for now.